Do you know? Shoplifters who have evolved into a behemoth black market gave damage of $4.4 billion to NYC's businesses in 2022 alone. A huge crackdown on shoplifting in New York City. Mayor Adams announcing his plan today to try to fight it through more enforcement, more prevention, and a closer working relationship between cops and shop owners. So far this year, there have been more than 20,000 cases of shoplifting reported, and about 10% of those have been grand larceny, which means items were worth more than $1,000. In New York, an investigation by The Post has uncovered how leniency towards shoplifters has paved the way for a sprawling black market worth billions. Imagine for a moment that the entirety of New York City's bustling streets and vibrant communities are shadowed by an invisible market, one that's feeding off the very lifeblood of our local economy. And there's nothing to steal because this writing, like so many other writings, is closing down because everybody stole everything. When actor and comedian Michael Rappaport posted about shoplifting on the Upper East Side, it drew national attention to a problem many small business owners say is getting out of hand in New York City. Thieves repeatedly stealing store merchandise, some say with little or no consequences. Today, we're diving deep into this critical issue that's been lurking in the shadows. Welcome back to our channel, everyone. And if you're new here, don't forget to hit that subscribe button as we explore the underbelly of NYC's crime black market. Investigations reveal a staggering reality. NYC's businesses aren't just losing inventory to shoplifting. They're bleeding millions in what's now a sophisticated, multi-billion dollar black market. And this video shows a line of cops emptying out a storage unit filled with goods they say were stolen from Home Depot. So these aren't your typical shoplifters, are they? No, this is not petty shoplifting. This is organized retail crime. This crisis is in part fueled by legislative leniencies that have turned a blind eye, allowing what was once considered petty theft to burgeon into a rampant enterprise. Stores across the city, from luxury boutiques to local mom and pop shops, recount similar tales of loss and frustration, painting a grim picture of the situation. Their tactics are very simple, and their scale of theft is on a smaller level, from grocery items to cosmetics and whatnot. You can even have piles of medicine in flea markets. That's right, I found table after table spilling over with un unopened merchandise, excuse me, and all of it being snapped up for pennies on the dollar. Piles of unopened medication. How about the pods? Those are five? They also sell these stolen items on social media accounts, including Facebook, eBay, and other platforms. You can find their warehouses full of these stolen items. In New York, an investigation by The Post has uncovered how leniency towards shoplifters has paved the way for a sprawling black market worth billions. This underground market commissions addicts and other so-called minor criminals to steal on their behalf while the leaders are hiding. This leniency resulted in damage to the businesses, and due to all the bad conditions of the business, customers had to pay high rates. Shoplifting and other forms of retail theft cost New York's businesses an alarming $4.4 billion in 2022. With the legislature's ongoing reluctance to implement stricter measures, the annual financial damage is now likely exceeding $5 billion. Want to stay informed on issues like these? Subscribe for more updates. Do you know? According to the reports by supermarket owners, there is an estimated 30% rise in shoplifting. People are taking this and putting it in their purse, just like that. And walking right out. Some supermarket chains are reporting a whopping 30% rise in shoplifting. Due to this, the local store owners had to stop putting grocery items on the shelves so that thieves would not be able to steal them. The items are locked and you can only see their name and advertisement posters, which is a huge inconvenience for the customers and workers. 
Don't look for detergent on these grocery store shelves. There are none to grab. So you can't keep your Tide on the shelves anymore? No, which is a big inconvenience for the customer and for the worker. The shoplifting is out of control to the point that one grocery store in New York displayed signs and posters in which it was mentioned that you have to contact a manager in order to purchase an item. They had to lock everything and you cannot put anything in your cart on your own. Things got really bad in an incident when a well-known shoplifter assaulted an NYPD officer when he tried to stop him. Michael LaPetri is chief of NYPD Crime Patrol Strategies. He says the pandemic helped fuel the increase. It's why many products are now locked up at your local drug stores. A lot of people were out of work and a lot of people were you know, trying to, to make ends meet, uh, obviously the wrong way. We do see some of it reselling on the street. It was mentioned in the report that from the 1st of January, 2021 to September 12th, 2021, there were more than two six zero 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 complaints about shoplifting. From January 1st through September 12th, 2021, the NYPD says there were more than 26,000 complaints for shoplifting compared to the same time period in 2020, which was over 20,000. According to the chief of NYPD, the epidemic also contributed to the activities of shoplifting, and now a lot of businesses have to lock up their products. Ben Dugan, president of the Coalition of Law Enforcement and Retail, said that the thieves mainly belong to the drug addict community who need money and would go to any extent for their needs. Not only this, but now organized robberies are damaging and threatening the local store owners. Do you think that they should take action against the shoplifters? Otherwise, small businesses are doomed in this economy. Meanwhile, figures such as Rep. Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez turning a blind eye to this matter, provoking the idea that shoplifters are simply poor and less privileged individuals struggling to meet their daily needs. Even in this critical situation, this mindset would not help the real customers and business owners. They had to go through an extensive process, even if they had to buy items like toothpaste, deodorant, or baby formula. The reluctance to enforce stricter penalties has only emboldened criminals, leaving businesses to fend for themselves. This lack of action raises critical questions about the effectiveness of current policies and the need for reassessment of our approach to petty crimes. Democrats went easy on shoplifters during the 2023 legislative session. One liberal lawmaker admitted, there has to be a broad consensus. Not everyone is interested in creating tougher penalties, moderate Democrat Assemblyman Jeffrey Dinowitz told The Post. Due to ignorance by the Democrats, legislators failed to submit the protection bill, added fuel to the situation, and enraged the small business owners. It's an insult to them. We have to wait another year for action. The legislators don't want to touch the criminals. They need action now, fumed Francisco Mata, head of the Bodega and Small Business Association. It is quite upsetting, isn't it? Even with all the non-supporting high authorities and people doing nothing for ongoing crises, some people care about the common people. Dinowitz said, we have a serious shoplifting problem, and I think we have to do more in that regard. It's a real issue we should address. John Castamatidis, a billionaire supermarket owner, announced on Wednesday a $10,000 reward for capturing the armed individuals responsible for stealing $4,000 from one of his grocery stores in New York City. During a press conference, an exasperated Castamatidis expressed his frustration with the city's crime rate, particularly highlighting a robbery on April 16th at an Upper East Side location. The incident involved the store manager and a cashier being bound and threatened at gunpoint to open the safe, leaving the staff traumatized. Castamatidis emphatically stated, enough is enough declaring a firm stance against the city's crime and emphasizing his determination to take action, saying they are mad as hell and we're not going to take it anymore. Not only does this give a bad customer experience, but also it traumatizes the employees. Also, 
This is the main reason why prices are high at stores. In the end, it will result in a disturbance in business markets, while customers have to deal with inflation side by side. The latest UN Global Price Index shows food costs reached their highest level in nearly a decade last month, thanks in part to supply and logistics issues. We hope that things get better with time because people are starting to react to these horrendous crimes like Casta Matiti said. There's 3,000 criminals on the streets of New York committing 90% of the crimes. If they, if they can't live like human beings, eight and a half million people deserve to be, deserve to be safe. What do you think? How can we deal with this shoplifting epidemic? We cannot sit like this while these black market criminals are on the loose. If you have the same experience while shopping, give this video a like. Want to see more informative videos? Hit the subscribe button.